Is that recording? Oh. All right, guys. Sorry about all those sexy dance moves. I didn't mean to get so out of hand, but this movie's soundtrack just bumps. All right, this is another movie that I have been eagerly waiting for because once I saw that Luca Guanadino was making a new movie, I had to see it. That's the guy who directed Call Me By Your Name. I don't know if you've seen that movie, but it's a beautiful movie with Timothy Chalamet and Army Hammer, who has now been canceled. But anyway, that movie is great, and he is a phenomenal director. So when I saw he was making this movie, I was over the moon super excited. And boy, did this movie very much deliver everything I was hoping for. Let's dig into this. So this movie stars Zendaya, Mike Feist, and Josh O'Connor. Zendaya's picture is front and center on this poster, but I think all three of these people stand equally in this movie. This movie is about a former tennis player played by Zendaya who has become a coach, and she is trying to make sure that her husband becomes the player that she didn't get the chance to be due to an injury that she sustained many years ago. Things do get complicated when we realize that these three leads all know each other in quite the intimate way. Now I know, I know, you would be forgiven for thinking that that this movie is going to be about sex in three ways because some of the promotional material that was released for this movie uh one of them was a picture of zendaya sitting on a bed between these two guys so it lo and behold it is going to make you think that this movie is going to be nothing but a risque sex movie but that really couldn't be further from the truth yes there is some romance in this movie and there is some sexual tension going on between these three characters but that is not the moral of this story that is not the whole point of this movie this movie is about tennis and it's also a character study zendaya really shined in this movie for me and she further proved that she is worth the hype people sometimes come down on her i really don't understand why because everything i've seen from her i've very much enjoyed and in this movie she is playing a stone-faced lady who has some resentment she has some anger she did lose her chance at this life that she wanted she had something that she was very good at she was a fantastic tennis player and yet some kind of fate happened and made it so that she couldn't do it anymore and you can see that resentment that anger and that hostility in her expression almost every time she looks at the court and yet she still is in love with the game enough so that she is willing to make sure that her husband becomes the player that she couldn't be that's how much she loves this game josh o'connor from seasons three and four of the crown also does a fantastic job in this movie he has a very charismatic personality there's something kind of a bit rebellious about him a bit of a bad boy he's a little sloppy he doesn't come off as the guy you really want to bring home to mom but he's the guy you might have the most fun with and i don't mean that in a dirty way although <laughs> Uh, anyway, he does a great job in this movie, and I very much enjoyed him. Mike Feist is playing a guy who is in peak shape. He is super confident. He might even be a little overconfident, and he does a great job in this movie as well. I would say of the three leads, he is the least charismatic, but that is because I think he's playing somebody who is just kind of checked out. He is here for the game, but he's not always super invested in his head. He is just sometimes in another place, and you can see that in him as well. And so he comes off a little bit less uh, exciting to watch, but I think that is designed. So this movie has drama. This movie has romance. It actually has some very cool tennis matches, but what I think the main story is about is about these three people. People. What do they stand for? Why are they doing what they're doing? What drives them? You know, these are the kind of things that this movie wants you to ask. And this movie seems more than willing to answer some of that. I would say that this movie is very much a story of determination, desire, and possibly obsession. Because particularly with Zendaya's character, you can tell that she is just razor focused on this goal. She wants to see somebody, if it can't be her, she wants to see somebody be the best at this game. I really like the cinematography in this movie. It is truly brilliant. There are some very unique shots that take place during this movie. There are even scenes where the tennis ball is coming straight at the camera. I'd love to see how they made that, but without breaking a camera, I'm guessing there had to be CG involved because otherwise they probably went through some lenses. There's also a really cool scene. I don't want to give too much away, but there's a cool scene towards the end of this movie where the camera almost seems like it is strapped to the tennis ball. And so you are basically a pair of eyes on this tennis ball and you are bouncing between these two men. Luckily, that scene is not very long. You don't really stick with it long enough to get nauseous, but it was a little cool gimmick that I thought really worked out and just added to the super excellent, just well thought out cinematography that this movie had. You saw me dancing at the beginning of this video and I do really apologize for that. Like I said, I didn't mean to get so frisky, but this movie had an amazing soundtrack and it just made me bump. 
Honestly, I was listening to the soundtrack as I left the theater. I couldn't wait to hear more of it, and I knew that I had to jam out. And so, yeah, I thought this movie had very good music. Trent Reznor, Atticus Ross, I think, is the other guy. Brilliant, awesome job. This movie is told across multiple timelines, okay? So this movie jumps between time period A, time period B, time period C, and at times it did get a little confusing to me. I mostly was able to put together what was going on. I didn't necessarily always remember when it was happening, but that is a slight con to me. It just seemed like maybe a bit of back and forth with the story. Overall, though, it didn't really throw me out of the movie. Like, it didn't stop me from enjoying this movie. And towards the end of this movie, I would also say that I think the pacing slows down a little bit. But then it kind of, you know, wrapped itself up. So it didn't outstay its welcome by too much. I just think that maybe it could have been tightened up a teeny it's just a teeny bit. It's a small, small gripe. What makes you think I want someone to be in love with me? I love this movie. Zendaya was phenomenal. The cast was great. The directing was done brilliantly. The music was awesome. The cinematography was great. And this movie made me very excited for tennis. And I don't usually watch tennis. I don't actually play tennis. I'm actually on the pickleball kind of thing. And I actually can't wait for them to make a movie about pickleball. Like with this kind of caliber, with this kind of acting, I'm sure there's some sexy stories that we can make revolving around pickleball. Okay, let's get on that, please. But yeah, I thought this movie was very well done. Some pacing issues aside, this movie kept me entertained from start to finish. So I'd give this movie a 9 out of 10. Like I said, I enjoyed so much about this. There are a couple small gripes that I had, but they are not enough to make me lower the score any lower than a 9. This is a movie I will definitely be re-watching. In fact, I can't wait to show it to more people and just start talking about this movie with other people. Did you see this movie? What did you think of it? If you saw it, please put your thoughts in the comments and let me know what did you like about it? What did you not like about it? If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more things from me, please subscribe to my channel. Later.